Why did God save us? He saved us to free us from our sins. Yan po yung napag-aralan natin. First and second, He saved us so as we can able to live in a new life. No, because without saving us first, then it's so very impossible for us to live a new life. And then He saved us so as He can able to bring us into His glory. Okay, so that is what the lessons we have last week. You know, why did God save us? Bakit po tayo iniligtas ng Panginoon? He saved us because the Lord who will judge everyone for salvation, okay, or damnation here on earth. So it's the supreme authority of God that He will going to judge the living and the dead. Amen po ba? Yes. We may able to remember what was written by the Apostle Mark no? in the book of Mark, Mark 16, 16, Jesus said, Those who believe and are baptized are saved. <coughs> pa. So, yan po yung nag-topic din natin in our Bible study tonight. Uh, I mean, last night. Those who do not believe, those parentheses, even if they were baptized, are already on them. So, who are those saved? Those are they that believe, okay, and are baptized. And who are those who are condemned? They who do not believe. So, that's what the scripture says. Okay, and why is this? Bakit po ganon? Because the Bible declares that God is the sovereign authority of salvation. Sovereign authority means God is the author. Authority over salvation and the basis of salvation as the Bible says is faith alone. Okay? Faith in God and faith in His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. You may look it at in the book of John chapter 17, verse 3. And this is eternal life. Okay? That they may know you who were the speaking, uh, who, who, who were the speaker, I mean, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, okay, this is eternal life. That they may know you the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So that is what Jesus said in the book of John chapter 17 verse 3. No, kaya nga po, we can able to determine that the Bible declares that God is the sovereign author of salvation. And the basis is by faith alone. Okay. The Bible says men are uncapable to have faith and to be righteous even to do good because of men's depravity. So alam, alam po ba natin yung ibig sabihin ng depravity? yung corruption of man nature being sinful yung po yung depravity of man that in totality we were born sinner that is what the bible says okay in the book of romans chapter 3 verse 10 no maybe we are so familiar with it but let me read it back to you so as we can able to determine why man is totally Depraved. As it is written, there is none righteous. Take note of that. There is none righteous. Okay? Not even one. Is that clear? So, to whom the Apostle Paul were trying to implicate the message to the people. Sabi niya, there is none righteous, not even one. Verse 11, there is none who understand. 
there is none who seeks God. Is that clear? Johan? That is what that is what the word of the Lord says. In verse 3, and uh, verse 12, it says, All have turned aside together, they have become useless. There is none who does good. So that is what the Bible says. Kaya nga po, men are total depraved. Corrupted by nature. Amen pa? Kaya, kaya sabi ni Paul in the book of Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and come short to the glory of God. Do we agree with that? Amen? Amen? So that is what the Bible says and that is what the apostle <coughs> wrote to the Roman believers. And ang sabi po raw dun eh, no one is righteous no, not one. If there will be anyone who may able, whom we may able to think that become so righteous among men that is none other one kundi ang Panginoong Jesus lamang. Amen. Amen pa? So that is what the Bible says. Therefore, because of the human nature which is totally depraved, corrupted, no? If your PC is corrupted, even though it might able to work, but not in total function, no? May mga portion po na down because of the virus. He might able to perform somehow, but nevertheless, he is totally unuseful. Kaya nga po, yung PC, our, our laptop, even our mobile, it being corrupted by virus, what are we doing? Either we will reformat it or use the antivirus to make it functionality again. So, yun po yun. So, therefore, because of that nature of man, none will be saved even on the virtue or merit of our own righteousness. Okay? And this is the reason why God gave us the grace and the necessity of faith. So, yun po yun. Because, no, sabi dyan, if that is the total uh, nature of man, none will be saved even on the virtue of merit of their own righteousness. This is the reason why God gave us the grace and the necessity of faith for salvation. Okay. Salvation is the sovereign act of God. Again, we are trying to repeat it continually during the service and even to the Bible study that salvation is the sovereign act of God. No one can add either deduct anything from it. Meaning, it's God author. No? Siya po ang may gawa noon. Okay. Titus chapter 3 verses 5 to 7 It was stated here. Ano po sabi dyan? He saves us Okay. Not on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness, but according to His mercy, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out upon us richly, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Verse 7, That being justified by His grace, we might be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Amen. So, yan po yung sinasabi ng scripture. He saved us, okay, not because on the basis of deeds which we have done in righteousness. No? 
Hindi daw tayo iniligtas ng Diyos dahil sa ating mga mabubuting gawa. And this is connected to what the Apostle Paul declares in the book of Ephesians to the Ephesians church. No? In the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to 9 For by grace we have been saved through faith. Grace and faith. Diba? For by grace we have been saved through faith. Not of works so that no one can boast. It is a gift of God. Ano yon? Yung grace and faith. Amen pa? So yun po yun. And this is the reason today we will be continuing our study and to examine this faith and the life of faith. No, nasa faith study tayo ngayon. Previously, we goes on with the grace, di ba? And I believe and I assume that we have already understood that grace is the sole act of God. Kaya nga po, grace, we did not do anything in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. That's the grace of God. No? God did not wake us to repent or to acknowledge Him first before Jesus Christ willfully given His life to redeem us from our sins. No? So we see in the Bible from the beginning to the end, it's talk about faith. Faith in whom? In God. In saving mankind from their sin. By the redeeming work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen po ba? Yeah. So let me read back to you Romans chapter 1 as far as it was read a while ago verses 7, 14 to 17. It was said here, I am under obligations both to Greeks and to barbarians, both to the wise and to the foolish. Thus for my part, I am eager to preach the gospel to you also who are in Rome. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. Okay? For it is the power of God for salvation for everyone who believe to the Jew first and also to the Greek. Verse 17, For in it the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, but the righteous man shall live by faith. Amen pa. So, we will try to, to, to study more deeper and farther about the importance of faith when it comes to salvation. Diba? If you may remember during the Bible study, one of the questions that arises last night is Do men, the natural man, do men, okay, has faith in God? Diba? Ang tao po ba ay merong pananampalataya sa Diyos? Okay, sabi what we have shared is some says there is, some says no, but what does the Bible says? The Bible says because of men depravity incapable to believe and to have faith in God because of his sin men don't have faith in God Amen ba? Yung tao po, dahil sa kanyang walang kakayanang maging matuwid, dahil siya ay lubos at ligtas na makasalanan, makikita po natin as the Bible says, men don't have faith. Because if men have faith, then there will be no problem at all in believing in God. Amen ba? People might believe in God, but that's not the question. The question is, does men have faith? Amen pa? So, yun po yun. So, why is faith 
necessary for salvation. So, so bakit po mahalaga o kailangan ang pananampalataya sa kaligtasan? First, because faith bestows to the believer a righteousness from God. Ulitin po natin, why faith necessary for salvation? Because faith bestows ang ibig sabihin bestows, inilagay to the believer a righteousness from God. Righteousness from God. Not our own righteousness as what the book of Titus and the book of Ephesians declares. Amen po ba? So, there are many kinds of righteousness that people live by. Self-righteousness, religious and moral righteousness, or individual righteousness. We can have one or all of those, but they do not save us. Only the grace of God can give us the righteousness that can save. Ididiin po natin ang konti. There are many kinds of righteousness. Self, righteousness, religious or moral righteousness, or individual righteousness. Sabi nga po, we can have all those righteousness within us. But, definitely, they do not save us. Because, only the grace of God can give us the righteousness that can save. So, saan po natin mapapasa yun? From this scripture, we can able to read it in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 30. What does 1 Corinthians 1, verse 30 say? Only the righteousness that comes from God saves a sinner. That's what the Bible says. But, but by His doing, you are in Christ who became to us wisdom from God and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Amen? So, where comes our, our wisdom from God? Where come our righteousness from God? Where come our sanctification and redemption from God? So, lahat po yun, when it pertains to salvation, it is only by the grace of God. Other than nothing. Amen po? Kaya nga po, we need to fully understand the importance of the redeeming work of the Lord Jesus Christ because there where grace are being inclined. No? So pag sinabi mong grace, when you talk about grace, when, when you say about grace, you are talking or dealing about the redeeming work of the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you getting that? Okay, kaya mahalaga po yun if and and uh, and if you can able to remember from the past from from even from the very beginning of our uh, fellowshiping is we are always dealing the importance and the depth meaning of the redeeming work of the Lord Jesus Christ we need to fully understand why he was crucified why he died why he was buried and why he was resurrected and who is this Jesus after all Amen pa? May I believe that we have that clear understanding that Jesus is the Word of God and God who was with God who became flesh. Amen pa? Maliwanag po sa understanding natin yun. That is the basis of what we are confessing about who the Lord Jesus Christ is. He is God who became man. As per the Bible declares. As per what the apostle written all about. They never talk about, you know, <coughs> the simplicity of understanding of who Jesus Christ is. Kaya, if you are a Christian and you say, Jesus is your Lord and Savior, you must have the clear, o masabi, clearly, clearly I mean, and biblically, 
who is this Jesus Christ? Amen po? There are so many people without being prejudiced to any that declares that they knew Jesus Christ. They knew Jesus. They knew I knew Jesus. And even quoting Jesus on the Facebook, you can able to read them. But the question is, who's Jesus? Amen po? Is he the one who was with God from the beginning? Is he the word of God? Is he the word that became flesh and dwelt among us? And by his redeeming word, is he the purpose and the reason why we have the grace? Other than that, I don't know who's Jesus you are talking all about. Kasi, dapat, as a church, who believe in the Godhead, the term must be clearly and understandable to each every one of us. Ayan po. Pag tinatanong ka sino si Jesus, and you, if, and if you are from God, Paul says, you see, you see, the Apostle Paul says, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You see what, what he's saying seems to be simply, simple, if you will be just reading, you know, Romans chapter 1. Simply lang yun, for I am not ashamed for the gospel, for the gospel of, of, of Christ, because this is the power of God unto salvation. And sometimes we even quote that one. But how assured we are that we are not totally ashamed. We are not ashamed because we knew, we know personally who is Jesus Christ. Amen ba? It's not just because it was said by the writings of the, of the apostles but because we have understood him and we have received the gift of grace it was given to us as a gift and we received it through faith Amen pa? where does faith comes from God God gave us that faith to believe to the only one and begotten Son of God. Amen po ba? So, what kind of faith, ito po, yung pinag-uusapan natin, what kind of faith brings this righteousness of God upon a person? Faith is the substance of the things we hope for, the evidence of the things which we do not see. That is faith, di ba? Sabi sa Hebrews 11.1. But is that what faith which the, which the Apostle Paul was talking about when it is connected with the grace? Is that about that faith? Yung po ba yung pananampalataya ang binabanggit doon? Yung faith is the substance of the things we are hoping for and the evidence of the things which we do not see. Okay. So, what kind of faith bring this righteousness of God upon us? Okay. It is a faith that believe the word of God. Okay. It is based on the word of God. Romans 10:17 says, "Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God." So what does Romans 10:17 is telling all about. Ano po ang sinasabi niya in kabuuan? Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, we usually quoting that one, faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. And then suddenly, you know, without getting the exact, you know, the exact uh, 
uh, implication with the Apostle Paul was saying about to the Roman. Faith comes from God. That's what the Apostle Paul. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So how does faith comes in you? By hearing and hearing the word of God. Does you have faith? No, you don't have faith. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. Upon that hearing and hearing, faith comes. You start believing the word and that belief turn to be the result of your faith that comes from God. Nakakatuwa kaya yun pong you know, sometimes I I am so so blessed to see those brethren that from the first day until to the present, no, he don't even dare to to absent without even the legal or the proper or the right excuses. Yung talagang nag strive siya na, na kahit na siguro uh, and that, uh, there are lots of things that playing in his mind, but still he's striving to learn Christ. That is that is different thing. Eh? Rather than those who have who have already heard and learned Christ, and then they take it so complacent, you know, para bang it's on your hand to say no or yes to fellowship with God. But looking to the Bible, the Bible says fellowship all together, religiously and continually. Hebrews ten twenty five. Do not neglect fellowshipping with one another as some are in practice of doing. Diba? Sabi, huwag niyong kaliligtaan na makipag-fellowship. Lagi na yung iba ay kinakaligtaan na. And really, you know, sorry for this, but I, I cannot really somehow sometimes understand why among the many days we are taking the day that we can able to give to the Lord to show Him that we love Him as our personal day. I really don't know. It's, it's us who will answer it. No? it kung, kung talaga namang meron kang trabaho, uh, eh, sabi ng boss po, trabaho tayo, eh, kahit ako, papasok ako. Sabi ko, Kuya Gilbert, I cannot come. Robert, pasok tayo. No? Pero yung, yung alam mo, hindi naman trabaho, gagawin mo trabaho, kalokohan po yun. Tapos sabihin mo, you love the Lord. Ano ba? Yeah. Kuya JR na lang, oh. natutunog ng ating gabi, inantay pa yung ice cream country, natutok na, natutok na. Oh. Buti, hindi, hindi siya nag, nagdalamhati, waiting for the ice cream until midnight, oh. until midnight, nakatulog na, yung, mag, yung magpapa-ice cream, nagkatrabaho pa. So sometimes, that, that defines yung, yung ating perseverance. These days, as the day comes nearer to the coming of the Lord, saints must be persevered. Because there was a written information in the scripture that in the last days, even the very elect will be deceived and many will turn away from their faith. So why faith Necessary for salvation because faith bestows to the believer the righteousness of God. Second, because faith is what justify believers in every generation. Reading Hebrews chapter 11, the whole chapter, no? Yung pag binasa nyo po yung libro ng Hebreo, you can able to find the Old Testament saints. Amen po? How they live by faith and even died without seeing what they believe. You see? But despite of that, they live by faith. Kaya nga po, the Bible says that the just shall live by faith. Faith is not only for the New Testament believer because it is also what justified the people who were saved in the Old Testament. Yun po yun. Kaya reading Hebrews chapter 11, uh, yung full, full, full book po na yan, you can able to find there that Hebrews 11 verse 6 for without faith 
no one can miss that. Okay? And then we can able to find there Hebrews chapter 11 verse 10 from Abraham to to uh, from uh, sorry from uh, from from Abel until the the Old Testament saints it goes it talks about faith. They believe on something which they do not truly uh, ikang nga si yung pang hindi hindi na enjoy sabi rito in Hebrews chapter 11 <coughs> no? now faith is the assurance of the things we hope for the evidence of the things which we do not see for for by it the men of old gained approval yun po sinasabi ng ano by faith we understand that the words that the world were prepared by the word of God so that what is seen was made out of things which are visible. By faith, Abel. By faith, Enoch. By faith, Noah. By faith, Abraham. These people live alien into this world but hoping Diba? Sabi to, by faith, they live as an alien into the land of promise, as a foreign land, as a foreign land dwelling in tents which Isaac and Jacob fellow heirs of the same promise. No. For he was looking for the city which has foundation, whose architect and builder of God is, is, is God. Then the 11th, by faith, Sarah. So reading all those things, you can able to see that those people in the Old Testament, before they have become the known personality in the Bible of the Old Testament because of their faith. So hindi po nagbagayong faith to whom? Faith to the coming Messiah. Faith to the Lord Jesus Christ, even though they don't know about Jesus Christ at the time, but they knew exactly that God will bring them the Messiah. Kaya nga po, Abraham was being justified, no? Sabi rito, verse 17, Hebrews 11, By faith, Abraham, when he was tested, offered Isaac, and he who had received the promise was offering up his only begotten son. We know that Isaac is the only son of Abraham when it comes to promise. Not Ishmael. Di ba? It's Isaac. And then, knowing that he got the son of the promise, ano yung promise? Kung saan po that manggagaling ang Messiah, where the Messiah will come. But God asked that son, sabi niya, Abraham, give me your son as an offering. The Bible did not say anything except God obey. Ah, sorry, Abraham obeyed. They went to the place and he began to offer Isaac. But God later on intervened because God had sinned the faith of Abraham. Amen pa? Amen. Despite of all those worries. Kaya nga po makita mo, Isaac is so much important with Abraham. Mahalaga si Abraham kay Isaac because that is the son which he has as the promise. Kaya mahal niya yun. But God asked for that. Amen pa? And he did not complain. So God saw the faith. So he put God first. Amen po? Kaya sabi naman po, without faith, no one can please God. Kaya sabi po sa Hebrews 11, 17 to 14, go way all down to summarize it, it is impossible to sacrifice for God without faith. What we are doing, considerable, is we are doing as a, 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 a living sacrifice for God. Fellowshipping is part of our offering to God. We go here, we put our time instead of, you know, maybe you were somewhere else resting or having party, enjoying, you know, things outside the church, but you are here. What pushes you to be here? Hey, in God. Amen po? Amen po ba? Amen. Thirdly, 
why is faith necessary for salvation? First, we said that because faith bestows the, to the believer a righteousness that comes from God. Second thing, because faith is what justifies the believer in every generation. No, the just shall live by faith. And thirdly, because it is what the Lord will look for in when He returns on earth. The things that the Lord will be looking for when He returns on earth is faith. Luke chapter 18, verse 6 to 8. No? Medyo siguro, you are, you are a little bit familiar with this. Luke 18, 6 to 8. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge said. Will, will not God bring about justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? And will he delay long over them? I tell you that he will bring about justice to them quickly. However, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on earth? Why? Because when he returns, we know that the church, the Christian, will undergo to a severe persecution. Amen, pa? That's that's what we do understand on the on the time that we will be uh, doing, you know, things, you know, in the time that we will be persecuted. And this is the this is what 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 uh, what the what the what in the book of Mark uh, Matthew says. The, the perseverance of the saints. The perseverance of the saints says, Matthew 24, verse 13, they that will endure until to the end shall be saved. So what are they talking about in Matthew 24? The persecution. So they, the perseverance of the saints, they that will endure until to the end shall be saved. Yes, niya, the just shall live by faith. Amen pa? Napakahalaga to niya. And how a person become justified? By faith. Yun po ang sabi ng scripture. Romans 5, 1 to 5, a person become justified by faith. And how a person become justified by faith? By receiving the gift of God, which is the grace through faith. Amen po. We become justified because of faith and that comes by receiving the gift of God which is the grace through faith grace is the gift of God Amen, Paul. so meaning God gave us the gift Amen. your salvation my salvation I did not work for it none among us can say that you can earn your, your salvation degree by doing such and such thing. No, no one will ever, ever graduate to any kind of salvation because salvation is a free gift of God. Not by words, so as no one can boast. It is a free gift of God. 